I'm Samichya from uh, Third Bar Technology and uh, I write poetry but uh, they say buried in the books of my journals and uh, as most of you said I'm also not uh, really like comfortable in uh, sharing my poems because that is where I articulate my thoughts and uh, I like to keep it and I don't like to share it but uh, since this open my poetry came out so I thought uh, maybe I'll try this out the key to open the door and chance to free your spirit from the core. A key that can turn time into an illusion, a bone long yearn, a ladder for ascension. Where would you start? Is it the very beginning when you first lost your innocence? Back when you realized grown ups lie and speak things with more twists and turns than the ivy you planted that spring on your windowsill? Or would you go back to when you first realized? Your childish fantasies were all made up to shield you from the bland truths a slithering blue mortal coin. And besides, the magic portals, elixirs and wonderlands are restricted to the pages of your worn-out books alone. Or would you return to the first time you lied, shield your soul from the guilty pants, the cold shivers, and the aftermath of the naive defenses when you justify to yourself that you were defenseless, compared by the world's pretenses. Thank you. Uh, this was one of them. I'm sorry, my poems are as messy as my thoughts are. I don't know where they are, and which one I'm supposed to speak. So this one is quite a big one. Uh, I hope you have the patience for it. This is a poem that I found time to give the title to. This is named, uh, If My Memory Takes the Form of a Bat. If my memory takes the form of a bat, mine is a cluttered, overstepped mess. There are many small totems and tokens I've collected along my journey, through the dark alleys and the lush green valleys. I have small packets of sweets, which taste like warm sunny days. I spent in the countryside, with my furry friends and three books and journals. My worn out red glasses, which give blurry shimmer of those days when I was full of hope. My worldview quite unaffected. I wasn't so aware, awake all the time. There is a pen, its ink run out, yet I see traces of blue pigment around the neck. Which stays as a reminder for all those untapped potential and unanswered questions which never left my lips. Some dried petals of rose and jasmine collect at the bottom. Their scent lingers on bailey, just hinting at the essence which was once sweet and fragrant, as their feelings towards the idea of love and thus to be loved. But now they lie dry and brittle, bittersweet is their state. A lone passport size photograph from a long time past lies abandoned in the spine. The girl in the blue background wears pressed uniform with a tie and neat plates. Her smile is restrained and her eyes are lost, searching for her place in the world. Thank you. 